Hey friends, a very warm welcome to all of you. Today I'm here to show you my accidental find on Amazon that creates some beautiful and perfect circles like the ones that you see on the screen. Many of you who might have studied at engineering or architecture or a fine arts school might be aware of this tool, but for me it was an amazing find. I tried this tool yesterday and was very happy with the result and so thought of sharing this information with you all. Yes, I am talking about the circle cutter. What you see on the screen is the tool that I am talking about. The circle cutter looks complicated but it is very easy to use. All information on how to use this tool is given at the back of the package and I am also going to brief you through on how to use it. To start with, this tool comes with a safety lock which we have to pull out, like so. This lock covers the compass point and the blade which cuts the circles. I will show you the features of this tool. This is the compass point, this is the blade, this is where you set the diameter of the circle. You can cut circles approximately up to 13 cm diameter. The blue pencil like top is the handle of the compass. And here is a small compartment which stores 5 extra blade. If the blade goes blunt, we do not have to worry about. Firstly, we have to set the diameter of the circle. To do this, we have to unlock the latch at the back so that we can move the compass point to the required diameter. I am going to set my circle diameter to 7, like so. Now you again lock the latch at the back so that your diameter does not move while cutting the circle. To create some bigger circles, you unlock this small latch on the side and slide the middle portion outward, like so. Now let's get started and see how easy it is to use this tool. But before starting, make sure to use a newspaper or some rough sheet below to protect the table that you are working on. I am going to cut a simple copy paper first. We have already set the diameter to 7 that is 3 cm and now I am going to use this tool like how we use a normal compass to draw a circle. Easy isn't it? Next I am going to cut a patterned card stock which is 200 gsm. For this one I use a little extra pressure. I also found it easier to rotate the patterned paper instead of the compass. I am amazed at the result. Just perfect. To show the difference, here is a circle which I have cut with a scissor and you all will agree that it never turns out perfect when cut with a scissor. At certain areas, it might look wobbly or flat while this one is perfect. It looks like as if you have used a punch to create a perfect round. Next, I am going to use the same technique on a cereal box or a chocolate box. Now no more fretting over how we can get proper circles of various different sizes on different types of cardstock or paper. I also don't have to invest in expensive punch and I can get the same result with this pocket friendly tool. I just went a little overboard and cut a whole lot of circles yesterday with different GSM paper. Here I am just showing you a few of them. I hope you found this video informative. If yes, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more such tips and techniques. To finish, I again unlock the latch and get the diameter to zero. 
and then put the safety lock on like so. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a great day. Until next time. Bye-bye.